Hello everybody, today we will discuss about the additive main effect and multiplicative interaction model using the stat, uh, stat gene GYE package. Uh, if you remember, I also created a tutorial uh, that for the additive main, main effect and the multiplicative interaction model using package, uh, using the methane package. Today we will continue uh, this analysis using the stat gene or the stat gene GYE package. So I strictly uh, recommend you to incorporate this uh, package into uh, your R Studio or R software for skipping to analysis. Let's say some uh, thing about additive main effect and multiplicative interaction uh, uh, model. Uh, let me revise it. The additive main effect and multiplicative interaction models fits a model which involves the additive main effects, that means uh, the genotype and the trail, that's along with multiplicative interaction effect. So, in other sense, the additive effects are the classical ANOVA main effects for the genotype and environment. So, this multiplicative effect follow uh, from a principal component analysis on the interaction of residual, that means interaction of residual means genotype by environment means after adjustment for the additive genotype and environment uh, effects. So this result uh, in an interaction that characterized by the interaction principal components enabling us a simultaneous plotting of the uh, genotype and the trial. And moreover, moreover, uh, for example, if you have missing data, uh, if you have missing data, those are imputed first using an iteration regression algorithm and this algorithm regress uh, each environment in turn uh, on uh, in turn on all others that means this process is repeated again and again and again until the difference between the fitted value in the subsequent iteration becomes sufficiently small so in order to do that you have to uh, just also type this one and uh, multi help multi uh, missing yes, multi missing. You have to use this uh, system, so it help you to. Uh, it, it gives you some uh, further detail information. So I leave this for you to discuss and to deal with it. So let's go uh, to our analysis. Before that, uh, our data name here is the drops phenol, which already uh, built in the start gene package. So you just simply incorporate it into your studio. And uh, if you just want to see the first six uh, column and row, so you have to type head, head and under parentheses, you have to name our data name. Our data name here is the drops uh, fennel. So type this one and run. So it's already uh, displayed here, it's already displayed here. So these are our heads. And in addition to that, in addition to that, or also you can type view and also indicate our data name here. So it's a display in the form of this. It started from the variety ID experiment, parent, code, accession, genotype panel, irrigation regime, grain yield. So these are our data frame. Yes. So let's back to our business. And if you know about, uh, if you want to now, about the drops uh, final or our data so type uh, question mark question mark is just help on this data so type this and run so it will give you its drops data and this uh, data is, comes from the european project that means a drought tolerant independence and you also uh, get uh, detailed information regarding to our uh, data so let's create some uh, trail data. In order to do that, you have two drops and TD stands for what's uh, trail data. So you have to use this stat gene st STA and you have to create here uh, TDA and also you have to indicate the data name is uh, drops phenol and here is the genotype which is equal to the genotype is a variety ID, the trail is which is so experiment. So type this and submit to your studio. And let's run the additive main effect and the multiplicative interaction for the grain yield. So to do that, uh, you have to say any name that you want here, but for sake of uh, simplification, you have to use his drop AM standards for additive main and multiplicative interaction analysis. So you have to use the J by E 
in my function and here is a, a td which follows to drop std what we created here the traits what we want to see here is the granule so type this one and run to your studio let's check our summary what it look like yes you will get uh, such type of uh, uh, result and uh, uh, let's see with this with uh, with this uh, for example the default setting in the additive main and multiplicative uh, interactive analysis uh, is a maximum of two principal components it's a maximum of uh, two uh, principal components if you just uh, check our uh, uh, if you check our uh, uh, results here is principal pc1 and pc2 so this is not sufficiently enough so this can be changed using the parameter npc the parameter npc helps to create more uh, what more uh, the number of principal uh, components so we already uh, reached here so in order to do that you have to use the function is called what the function n uh, ncp which is equals to uh, npc which is equals to null so you can get this result yeah here is already right here so by default the mmi model will give us uh, the, the, the uh, uh, two principal components but we can change uh, using the npc which is equals to null will help the number of principal component uh, to be uh, more so the number of principal component uh, uh, should be lower than the smallest number of the genotype or the environment minus one so by specifying npc is equal to nil the algorithm will determine the number of principal component by a method of what for our selection so type this one and run let's see the summary hopefully we are expecting more uh, number of uh, principal component yes pc one up to what seven we already added five so if you want to increase your number of principal component analysis you have to use the npc which is equals to null so type this and you will get more the principal component analysis principal component analysis then after uh, we will continue for example if uh, if you just want to run only the three uh, principal component analysis uh, maybe <clears throat> if you want just to limit the uh, uh, other principal component analysis, especially those who contain those contain with the highest uh, uh, what you call it outliers so you have to use this one that means exclude the genotype for example the genotype 11430 and the genotype uh, s3 uh, contain let's say it's contain outliers so if you just want to exclude from your analysis you have to use all are the same but here you have to uh, create more function here exclude geno and also you have to limit see how to indicate which which genotype should be removed from analysis so here is 11430 and a3 so if you type this you will exclude the genotype that contain what uh, the genotype that contain the uh, outliers yes then after uh, for example if you just uh, if the data, if your data contains uh, a column year and it's possible to fit a separate additional uh, additive main and the multiplicative interaction module for each year that you want so this can be done by specifying the parameter by what by year so if you type by year which is equal to true so you are just uh, we are going to analyze only what with a year with a year that means the additive main effect and the multi multiplicative interaction uh, model will be uh, customized for what by year so if you type this one so the mmi will be only uh, deal for a year then let's create the uh, the additive manifest in the multiplication and interactive analysis 
uh, plots. So the result of the AMMI uh, or the additive manifest and multiplicative interactive model can be displayed in uh, form of two uh, types of plots. The first one is the principal component against the main effect, and the second one is uh, against the first principal uh, component. So let's create it the type one here. So in order to do that, you have to indicate plot, and here is you have to write the drops am that we already created here. That we already created here. Yes, well, that's already created here. And uh, if you just also want to analysis example uh, for this scenario, we excluded the genotype uh, this and this. So if you want also that, you have to uh, indicate uh, here instead AM3. And instead of drops AM, you have to either 2 or 3. Just exclude the outliers. And also you have to determine only by, if you want to determine or just to, to get analysis only by year, so you have to type, you have to type what? Drops AM year here instead of drops A. Whatever it is, let's use the, let's use the, the, the default setting. So uh, plot, you have to write here plot, the function, and also here is the drops AM or the additive main uh, effect and multiplicative interaction uh, model. Then the plot type is AMMI1. So if if you say this one, so the it will dis, it will display what the principal component against to what only to the main effect. But if you tap two, it it, it will show you against what the first uh, principal component. So tap this and run. Yes, it's already displayed on the right uh, side of our studio. Yeah. The type one is already what the PC one against the main effect. But if it's type two, it is PC one, uh, and it will be what PC two with each other. Then uh, you can also uh, uh, you can also scaling if you want just or if you want to scale, you can also do uh, by typing the plots drops AM scale is called 0 0.5 and plotting with AMMI two. So type this and. Submit to our studio. Yeah. Here is PC1, here is what? PC2. And furthermore, you can also customize uh, into different uh, forms. For example, here you can create uh, the you can create uh, color for genotype based on the genetic group. So in order to do that, you have to type here is plots and drops AM. The scale is 0 0.4. The plot type is AMMI2. The color gene by which is called the genetic group. Uh, and again also here the uh, color geno which is red, blue, green, and yellow. Color by environment is scenario full. Scenario full you can get from uh, Help by typing help drops panel uh, in the in the first place. We already discussed this, so if you type this one, you can get detailed information about drops panel. So where we are uh, here, so type this and submit to your studio. Yes. Yeah. You'll get also in this fashion. These are the uh, four genotypes Steve Stock, Azel, Lancer, and Lodent. And again, also, uh, you can create the, uh, the, the this is the biplot using the convex hull. In order to do that, you have to hit is plot convex shell which calls to true. So some uh, convex shape will be appear in circular fashion in your studio. So you have to use plot function and uh, drops AM scale to 0.4 plot type scholars to MMI2 and the plot uh, con hell as well as true and color environment by which calls to scenario full. So if you type this one, you will get uh, the following. Uh, by plot graph.
So this is all about addition main and multiplicative interactive analysis using the start in GYE package. So if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email, work address as found at gmail.com as well as YouTube uh, comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.